This is Michael L. Dublin Sr. It is late Sunday night, about 1130, uh, January the 30th, 2022. I'm preparing to sleep for the night. And uh, with the hope and the expectation that I'll uh, be awakened by God to start the day tomorrow. I did want to make this video and just share a few thoughts before I turn in. Uh, dear friends, this is First John 4. Do not believe every spirit, but test the spirits to see whether they are from God. Because many false prophets have gone out into the world. This is how you can recognize the Spirit of God. Every spirit that acknowledges that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is from God. But every spirit that does not acknowledge Jesus is not from God. This is the spirit of the Antichrist, which you have heard is coming and even now is already in the world. You, dear friends, are from God and have overcome them because the one who is in you is greater than the one who is in the world. And there lies the text for myself personally. More and more and more, I'm believing that passage of scripture and more and more. I see the need to believe that passage of scripture. The false prophets have told us lies. Uh, they, they've caused us to be religious. They've caused us to, believe that we're bad and there's no good in us and all of the things that has caused us to be distorted. So we have a very distorted and negative view about life itself, about men, about women, about different ethnic groups. And more than anything, it radiates from ourselves. And God tells us that we don't and must not ever again be overcome by those things. That they are there, they are very real, but we ourselves have been set free from being in bondage and not knowing what we're up against. So for myself, I, I have to believe that the God that I serve, who is greater in me than the lies and the spirits that have come upon me and been with me all my life and still come to me through others that I can see through what they are saying and who they are, but also see that they too have been captured and captivated often by the wicked one. And that along with my own freedom, I have to be merciful and hope and pray that God will give freedom to those as well. To find myself being kind and compassionate and understanding, recognizing that every human being has a uh, uh, an overwhelming um burden to carry to be alive and yet I know I'm limited I can't love everybody I can't understand everybody I'm not merciful to everybody if I could be that way I would be that way but in the short time that I have to live in this life I really want to be kind and compassionate I want to be merciful to those I can be and I want to want that so before I lay down tonight I've reflected and thought a bit, and I want the God that I serve, I need the God that I serve, to be greater in me than he that's in the world, to help me to face down the lies, to forgive as beyond human possibilities, to live and to move beyond human possibilities, and to not find one particular day where I'm not honoring God by being free and accepting that my God is in me. Therefore, the God that is in me is greater than anything that I will face. And whatever's happened in the time that, I, that I've that i lived on this earth and will live, I can't change any of that except by reframing it. And I'm willing to do that. And I'm willing to accept human frailties, weaknesses, and limitations. But the superior God in me and the capacity to go beyond those limitations. So I want this day to let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in God's sight, in the sight of the people, and in my own sight. 
And I want to be able to honor the Lord Jesus Christ by allowing the Holy Spirit, by allowing the words of Christ to resonate in me. Let the word of God be rich in me. So I'm, 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 I'm growing, I'm maturing, I believe. And above all, I recognize that I don't know anything, but that which has been given to me to live up to that. I'm better than no person. I'm worse than no person. I just am. And, and being who I am will have to be sufficient. And I just want to say that and, and, and emphasize to myself before I go to bed. This is just it. You are who you are. Good night. <laughs>